Okay, this is a brief overview of the animator tool. <clears throat> After you launch the software, the project setting window pops up. Select create new and in a scene settings, put frame rate, canvas size, and background color. Set a file name and where to save the file. Just drag and drop the model file onto the preview screen. Keep in mind that the animator tool does not actually store uh, the model data. It just calls whatever the files that it links to each time you open a project. The motion parameter settings made in the modeler tool are loaded and displayed in sync in the parameters palette. These motion parameters can be controlled by numerical values for each parameter. You can control these numbers with the mouse or entering specific values and of course you can use these red sliders here. When you control a motion parameter, keyframe is generated on the timeline and in-betweens are automatically generated or interpolated. If you want to add a key between two keys, press Ctrl and click on a frame that you want to add a key to. If you want to add a key to a frame across all parameters, press Ctrl and click on the timeline of the model itself. To move around a key, just select it like this or select the timeline of the model. You can zoom in and out of timelines using a mouse wheel and with pressing Ctrl, you can scroll up and down. So this is how you literally direct the character to act based on the motion parameters you set in the modeler tool. Now let me briefly explain about menus and palettes in the animator tool. In the file menu, there are open a file, create a new, export to a movie and to image sequence in a PNG, or export to motion data for embedding. In the edit menu, there are basic stuff like copy and paste. You can copy and paste keys in a group or a one by one. You can copy and paste keys across different scenes and different projects. The material palette on the bottom right here stores model files, uh, image files, and audio files. You can reload or switch files by right clicking on a file. The cool thing is that even if you load a different model, it can share the same motion parameters as long as they share the same parameter settings. In the scene palette, you can create new, copy, and rename scenes. If you double click on a tag word on the right, you can add a tag word for that particular scene. The tag words can be used for searching. In the parameter palette, motion parameter settings made in the model tool are loaded in sync. In the timeline palette, you can control or direct the model to act based on the motion parameters and by numerical values.